Okay, now make sure your kid always has eye protection on. That one doesn't fit too well. We'll have to get some better ones. Uh, we're going to put this in the metal lathe, and what we're going to do is drill it out so that this bolt can go through it. This is the 5 8 inch bolt for the kingpin, and I'll put that in like so. And as I say, you might not want to make these. You might want to just buy the spindles already pre-made if you have go-kart wheels. We don't have go-kart wheels. We have uh, lawn tractor wheels. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just face it off like this. Put a little chamfer in it. Now, the next thing I have to do is countersink it. Do it like that. I'm going to bring this up and we will countersink. Then we'll drill. We're going to probably start it drilling it with a 3 8 inch drill. Here we go. Countersink comes out, and yoink, put that there. Oops, can you put that back up? Okay. I'll bring this up, tighten it. Now what you're going to do, Margaret, is you're going to slowly turn this in. Okay. While you do that, now hang on one second, because I like to get cutting fluid. I have a number of different fluids here. Here's the cutting fluid, and I like to go splorp, blorp. Okay, you ready? Slow this down a little bit too. Yeah. There you go. Can you do it? Can you push real hard? That's it. You're doing it. All right. All right. Go. Ooh, that's a nice. See when they come out nice and long like that. That's pretty good. Throw in the first hole is the hardest. The second hole should be very easy because there's no cent there won't be any center left. We'll have already drilled that out. Okay, we have put the half inch bit in and we're going to start this up. And I'm going to turn the speed down a little bit lower on my speed control. And we're going to run this in nice and slow and I got a nice coating of uh, cutting through. So go ahead, Mark. Oops. <laughs> Forgot to tighten the carriage. Go ahead. This should be a lot easier. The chips will clear a lot better because we already drilled the 3 inch pilot hole. Notice she's just using one hand, whereas before she was really struggling. Even though this hole is uh, half an inch, it's much bigger, much, much bigger than the 3 8 that we drilled before. Okay, this is 9 16 This is about 5 6 5 0. Oh. I'm going to use this one next into our chuck and it just does. Let me just see something here. Okay, great. Okay, you ready to do that one? Yes. Okay. We switch to a reamer. I've got a 9 16 The problem is I also have a 5 8 which should fit perfectly but it's larger than the bolt. Well, I may not be able to use it. But we're going to step up and use this. Take it real slow. Good. This is just taking off a little bit. Isn't it though? Yes. Okay. 
All right, let's see if this fits. Pretty close. There it is. That's going to be our kingpin for our um, steering. Got it? Wiggle it on out. Okay. Oops. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Well, I didn't.